Russian ship that has lasted for more than 50 years so far. One of the truly interesting rewards that come with stretching a lifetime out over a few decades is the chance to see the full evolution of a social phenomenon. In the 1940s, Carmen McRae was a very popular jazz vocalist. And then in the 50s and 60s, jazz got depressed somewhat. It went a little out of style. But through all those years of musical upheaval, Miss McRae kept right on doing what she always did. And now, she's not only back in style, she's nearly a legend. Whether in the shadows or the spotlights, she's always remained true to herself and her music. And here she is to prove it. Ladies and gentlemen, Carmen McRae. <laughs> Follows me about the same old pounding in my heart whenever I think of you. And darling, I think of you day in and day out. Day out, day in. I needn't tell you how my day begins. When I awake, I wake with a tingle. One possibility in view, that possibility of maybe seeing you. Come rain, come shine. I meet you, and to me the day is fine. Then I kiss your lips and the pounding. Oceans roar, a thousand drums. Can it really be love? Can there be any doubt? When there it is, day in, day out, come rain, come shine. I meet you, and to me the day is fine. Then I kiss your lips, the pounding becomes. The oceans roar, a million drums. Can it really be love? Can there be any doubt? When there it is. Hey, Carmen McRae, how are you? So nice to see you again. Good to see you again. Yeah. yeah. Talk to you. When, you. when you give, when you do a song like that, mm -hmm. and it's obvious emotional drive there, is that something that is a technique, or do you do you have to feel that when you sing it? Uh, I guess a little bit of both. You know, yeah. because that, that particular song was one that I did many years ago, recorded, and I have uh, in going and getting repertoires, you know, and doing shows. Uh, I get tired of doing the same thing all the time, so I have to go and get new songs, and particularly when you work somewhere a long time, a, a lot, like yeah. I work in this particular city quite a bit, so I've got to keep changing my shows. And the, so, and the songs do change, and she keeps everything up to date. You've got something in, in uh, I don't know if it's your newest album, but the one, I Am Music. No, that's album. not the newest. It isn't, you've got no... It, it's, the current, it's sort of been around a year and a half. Well, in that album, you've got a cut that, that is a very fascinating song, a very touching one, too, called Who Gave You Permission? Yes. Did, why did you decide? Let me describe it first, and, yes. then, and I want to know why you included it in the album, because it is, I guess, sung by... Uh, let me tell, uh, let me tell you about it. Too. Well, it's, a, it's really a song that was taken from a television uh, special uh, that uh, starred Maureen Stapleton, and it was called Queen of the Stardust Ballroom. That was the name Correct. of the show. And in it was this song that she sings, uh, which I'm sure a lot of the ladies will sort of... Uh, understand it's about a woman whose husband had been ill and died and he, and she just couldn't face life she could face it but she just couldn't found it very difficult to go on without him because they had been together so very long and and after uh, him after he died and she was at home one day and she was looking at all his pipes and the things that reminded her of him she asked the question uh, who gave you permission to leave you promised that we go old together you promised that you'd stay you know you didn't say you'd leave me here alone that anger yeah so no it wasn't really anger it was just a sort of a a, a, a cry for help and uh so she sings this in the uh, in this particular vehicle that she played in but i talked it i want because see i want to be an actress very very badly and i'm trying I'm to talk convince. to you about that in a minute too oh, okay. I know you have that, that thing. <laughs> yeah but our, our songs songs seem to me to be uh, to have a little more substance to them than they did in the moon june tune days of, of several decades ago well i, well, I don't think i've ever done a moon june tune. no i know you haven't <laughs> but there were a lot more of that kind of songs around oh, yeah. right in the, in the 30s yeah and, uh, well in the 30s i wasn't doing anything hugh but look at but you know do them like this no no I, I know that but i mean even the 40s when, when 
Right. There well, was you, a tendency. well, you know, you can't. How could in the forties and the fifties and even even up to today, you know, if you do songs by George Gershwin or Cole Porter or uh, people like that, how can you go wrong? You know. Yeah. And I have never. never stopped doing them. I have added uh, a few contemporary songs that I can identify with. You know, uh, today songs, but very few. Now about the acting. Yeah. I know you're, you're lurching into that as a have you, you, you say you've always wanted to do it. Well, not always, no. Oh. I never thought I was capable until a few years ago, and I think I'm quite capable if somebody will just uh, take me by the hand and give me a little chance. I don't know whether I can or not. You know, I feel that I can, and actually doing it is something else again, but at least I'd like the chance. Now, any specific projects in mind that you'd I like to I don't care what it is, no. Yeah. It, doesn't it doesn't matter. I don't want it to be... Uh, particularly musical. It can. I want something with a little bit of emotion, you know. Hear that, agents and producers? <laughs> She's available. I think she'd be very good. That, that's marvelous. Yeah. Thank you. Very yeah, much. I, I said, am, uh, "I am music" was a, is a recent album, but you've got uh, album out since yes, then. Yes, I've had about three albums since that one. That was the first album I did for Blue Note. Yeah. Uh, right. And that's been about a couple years ago. Now. Great. I'd love to. She's going to sing a song for us now because. I, I listened to her do it once, that you have not sung on television. No. Yet. This tell, tell us a little about this and why you're going to sing this one now. Well, uh, in fact, this song I had really gotten a lot of requests to do, and I just didn't feel like doing it. It's been done by a lot of people, and it was done very exceptionally well by a lot of folks. And I really didn't understand it too much, because I did not see uh, the vehicle it was in, which was a little night music. And I didn't know what uh, the author or the songwriter meant buy it but I just said hey I'm gonna do it anyway so I have to really put my interpretation to it and I hope that that's what he had in mind the people who wrote the song anyway. and it's called it's called send in the clowns send in the clowns Carmen McRae Thank you. isn't it rich are we a pair me here at last on the ground you in mid air send in the clouds isn't it bliss Don't you approve One who keeps tearing around One who can't move But where are the clowns? Send in the clowns Just when I'd start opening doors, finally knowing the one that I wanted was yours, making my Isn't that queer? 
Well, maybe next year. But I talked it. I want, because see, I want to be an actress very, very badly, and I'm trying to. I'm going to talk convince. to you about that in a minute too. Oh, okay. I know you have that other thing. <laughs> yeah. But our, our songs, songs seem to me to be uh, to have a little more substance to them than they did in the Moon June Tune days of, of several decades ago. Well, I, well, I don't true? think I've ever done a Moon June. Tune. No, I know you haven't. <laughs> but there were a lot more of that kind of songs around. Oh yeah, back right. In the, in the 30s. Yeah, and, well, in the 30s, I wasn't doing anything, Hugh. But look at, but you know, doing like this. No, no, I. <laughs> I know that, but I mean, even the 40s, when, when right. there well, was a tendency. Know, well, you know, you can't, how could, in the 40s and the 50s, and even even up to today, you know, if you do songs by George Gershwin or Cole Porter or uh, people like that, how can you go wrong, you know? Yeah, and I have never stopped doing them. I have added uh, a few contemporary songs that I can identify with, you know, uh, today songs, but very few. Now about the acting. Yeah. I know you're, you're lurching into that as a oh, you, you, you say you've always wanted to do it. Well, not always, no. Oh. I never thought... My heart, whenever I think of you, and darling, I think of you day in and day out. Day out, day in. I needn't tell you how my day begins. When I awake, I wake with a tingle. One possibility in view, that possibility of maybe seeing you. Come rain, come shine. I meet you and to me the day is fine. A thousand drums Can it really be love? Can there be any doubt? When there it is day in day Out come rain Come shine I meet you and to me the day is fine Then I kiss your lips The pounding becomes The oceans roar a million drums Can it really be love? Can there be any doubt? When there it is Hey, Carmen McRae, how are you? So yeah, nice good, to see you again. Good to see you again. Yeah. Talk to you. When, you. when you give, when you do a song like that, mm -hmm. and it's obvious emotional drive there, is that something that is a technique, or do you do you have to feel that when you sing it? Uh, I guess a little bit of both, you know, yeah. because that, that particular song was one that I did many years ago, recorded, and I have uh, in going and getting repertoires, you know, and doing shows. Uh, I get tired of doing the same thing all the time, so I have to go and get new songs, and particularly when you work somewhere a long time, a, a lot, like yeah. I work in this particular city quite a bit, so I've got to keep changing my shows. And, so, and the songs do change, and she keeps everything up to date. You've got something in, in uh, I don't know if it's your newest album, but the one, I Am Music. No, that's album. not the newest. It isn't, you know. It, yeah, it's, a current, it's sort of been around a year and a half. Well, in that album, you've got a cut that, that is a very fascinating song, a very touching one, too, called Who Gave You Permission? Yes. Right, why did you decide? Let me describe it first, and, yes. then, and I want to know why you included it in the album, because it is, I guess, sung by... Uh, let me uh, tell, let me tell about it. Too. Well, it's, a, it's really a song that was... ...a ship that has lasted for more than 50 years so far. One of the truly interesting rewards that come with stretching a lifetime out over a few decades is the chance to see the full evolution of a social phenomenon. In the 1940s, Carmen McRae was a very popular jazz vocalist. And then in the 50s and 60s, jazz got depressed somewhat. It went a little out of style. But through all those years of musical upheaval, Miss McRae kept right on doing what she always did. And now, she's not only back in style, she's nearly a legend. Whether in the shadows or the spotlights, she's always remained true to herself and her music. And here she is to prove it. Ladies and gentlemen, Carmen McRae. <laughs> Taken from a television uh, special uh, that uh, starred Maureen Stapleton, and it was called Queen of the Stardust Ballroom. That was the name of the show. And in it was this song that she sings, uh, which I'm sure a lot of the ladies will sort of uh, 
understand. It's about a woman whose husband had been ill and died, and he, and she just couldn't face life. She could face it, but she just couldn't found it very difficult to go on without him because they had been together so very long. And and after uh, him, after he died, and she was at home one day, and she was looking at all his pipes and the things that reminded her of him. She asked the question, uh, who gave you permission to leave? You promised that we'd go old together. You promised that you'd stay. You know, you didn't say you'd leave me here alone. That anger. Yeah, that so, no, it wasn't really anger. It was just a sort of a, 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 a cry for help. And uh, so she sings this in, the, uh, in this particular vehicle that she plays.